Okay, so this video is just a quick demonstration of using like a 12 inch metal shear to shear printed circuit boards. I, when I was investigating this, uh, whether I could, you know, how I could set up a shearing system in my own shop to shear printed circuit boards, I saw that there was a lot of questions on the internet but no answers. So I just ended up risking it and buying a shear and uh, trying it out. And as it turns out, it works very good. So, this shear is from, this one I got from, I think, Production Tool Supply. It's a Shop Fox, 150 bucks or whatever for a 12-inch shear. Now, it's supposed to be able to shear up to 5 16 by 1-inch flat bar or rod, but I'm just using it to shear printed circuit boards. Um... And either two or four layer plain boards. So it didn't come with this platform. I just kind of, I needed a squaring bar to get my board square in there. So I built this little platform out of eighth inch aluminum and then I put a little squaring bar on the back out of one by two uh, extrusion so that I have like a little table, almost like a paper shear. Um, so here's a quick demonstration. Um, this works really good actually. I'm but, so here's an example of what we're shearing. So I've got actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 individual mini PCBs that I'll be shearing out of this single PCB. Um, this is the standard 2.5 by 3.8 mini board service from Express PCB, where it's like you get three PCBs for 75 bucks or it ends up being 85 bucks with shipping. Um, but for that, I can get like 30 little boards that I use in my shop out of that with this shear. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of line up. Now, I know I'm going to do this whenever I'm building the boards. So I silk screen shear lines in there for myself. So that once I get my boards, I've got a shear line that I can shear to. So now, I've got a couple more cuts like that to make. And again, I've I just set lines on there with their silk screen, so I can uh, kind of do this without shearing traces off. So now that I've got, so now I've got three different rows and now I'm going to start shearing in a horizontal orientation instead of like a vertical orientation okay so here's my my first two PCBs um, so I use these little teensy boards to hook up different little things on we build panels and stuff like that and I just get tired of hand wiring after a while so I'll just do these little boards that makes it a little easier and saves us some time so this shear has been very useful in doing that so I would recommend it and for all of those people out there that have questions as to whether these kinds of metal shears can do this they can I used to have a big tinsmith steel shear that was actually rated for a certain PCBs but for a hundred bucks, if you're doing lots of little, or 150 bucks for a hundred for lots of micro PCB work, now you're gonna have again, you're gonna have to build your own uh, squaring bar and little shear table, and you have to get it level with your shear, like I did. I, you can see this is a very low tech. I just used two by fours and spacers to get it square with the shear. But once you do that, you're in business, man. So I hope this helps the guys on the Yahoo Express PCB user group and anybody else who would like information on shearing your own printed circuit boards. So here's a good example of, uh, let me change my orientation here. Well, here's a good example of what we got on tap. There's lots of boards in there. I can get a lot of boards out of only three purchased boards. There you go. Thanks for watching.